Okay, uh, next caller will be Jason. Hi, we've been waiting yeah, we're, for a long time. Yeah, what's going on, man? Hey. How much? Oh, uh, yeah, the question I had uh, was about, well, you know, uh, a lot of these different religions are in place. There are a whole lot of different religions. Eventually, you guys, it seemed like to me, would become sort of a religion because I know you're getting a lot of callers that seem to be a lot younger and confused, and they're calling actually looking for a lot of answers. And then, I mean, I guess you guys do provide answers, uh, you, you know, in, in your own perspective. But I mean, I'm a Christian. I like to I'm, think that we don't so much provide answers as offer a framework for thinking about things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't really want anybody. You know, it does, it, I know how reliable what I'm saying is to me. Um, my point isn't when I'm on here to say, "Believe me, I'm right." Um, I'd much rather right. have them go look up the information themselves to investigate it and think about it. Let you go actually look up the arguments <laughs> for and against the existence of God and see which one makes the most sense. You know, exactly. actually, I mean, if you. And I mean, five years, ten years down the line, where, where do you guys see yourself at? I mean, I know you see yourselves, um, you know, maybe, I, I would say converting. Because basically, a lot of people are tuning in, a lot of people are confused, a lot of people know that the religion that they're with, uh, they're with it due to the, you know, solely to the fact that their parents and their parents' parents were in this religion. And, uh, you know, there are a lot of people out there that are atheists and what do you see, guys, in like uh, 10 years, 5 years from now? Well, you know, nothing would make me happier if there, than if there were more atheists in the world. But I don't see that as, as a mission, really. I'll tell you what I do see uh, as a, a good thing to work toward. Uh, I'm a member of a message board, and there's a guy who has who has been arguing with me for months about creationism and the existence of God and that sort of thing. Um, basically, you know, didn't understand anything about atheism and and made some really ridiculous arguments uh, at first. And his arguing has grown more sophisticated as I've known him. And the other day, I saw a post by him that said, I thought you should know that somebody in my church said that you have to have God uh, to be moral. And I said, what makes you think that atheists aren't? moral. And before I knew you, I would never have stood up for someone like you. Exactly. Uh, I understand. Well, I, that's a, I guess you guys answered my question pretty good. Uh, I, I just see you guys, you know, in five, ten years, I mean, if you're you know, going strong like you are now, I see you guys maybe converting a lot of people. I see you guys maybe getting a nation, maybe. I mean, I don't even see that as impossible. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, well, I, I, the, I point, the point for, for me, at least, is not to necessarily convert people away from their religion to an atheist worldview. Um, it's, you know, you're free to, to keep your religion. My, my position is primarily with regard to separation of church and state and to promote knowledge, understanding, and good education because we have incredibly crappy education in this country with regard to public schools. We, and I'm not just talking about letting um, intelligent design sneak in, uh, you know, a creation oh, well, we in the lab. About that too. Um, that's one of my big issues. But how many people in public schools all the way from kindergarten through grade 12, if they happen to make it that far and don't, you know, get mm -hmm. pregnant or gonorrhea or drop out or whatever, um, how many people are actually taught uh, critical thinking skills. How many people are taught what the scientific method actually is? Um, there's, you know, the, the entire uh, purview of uh, epistemology where you're trying to figure out what you know and how you know it and what ways there are to know things. And while, you know, if I had a religion um, from any standpoint, if I were to say X is my religion, it wouldn't be atheism. It would be science, and not because uh, not with anything regarding a supreme being or anything. Atheism is is my position on that question. But well, as far as worshiping and revering, um, science is it because it is without question the most reliable method we have currently for knowing the truth from thing from from fiction. I wouldn't go so far as to say worship and revere. Well, in a poetic sense. I'm um, not going to be on my knees in front of, you know, like... Well, you guys do a good job, man. I'm just calling, you know, I mean, thanks. a lot of people, uh, you know, out here are, you know, joining different groups and things like that. And I can just see your group is uh, one of those that a lot of people... I mean, you, you guys got a website, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, atheist-community.org. Plug, plug. You guys, get, you guys get hit on that a lot then, I bet. 
got a lot of, got a lot of hits on that, right? Yeah, significant. I, I actually have no idea how much traffic the website I, gets. I've seen the stats before, and they were okay. <laughs> hey, that's decent, man. I was just calling in. I, uh, okay. It seems like you guys get uh, pretty powerful over the years, but thanks a lot, man. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. And I wonder if he was driving at something like atheists are taking over the country. Or... It wouldn't bother me. I, I, <laughs> any, any, any amount, any, the, the more we can get this country back to its secular roots, the happier I'll be. But they're not. <laughs> Uh, we are increasing. You know, in the last, yeah, last 10 years, um, we've gone one, from 8% one thing, to 14. One other thing I will add is that, uh, personally, I value uh, intelli- the ability to think about stuff as more important than actually being an atheist. I right. feel that being an atheist tends to come out of the first thing. Uh, but I would rather hang out with an unusually uh, smart and intelligent and thoughtful Christian than an unusually uh, boorish and not too bright atheist. Uh, so it's not atheism that that is really the most important thing to me, even though this is, in fact, the atheist experience. Yeah, the, only, the only thing about atheism that, that I, I really push towards is this uh, elimination of the stigma of the name. Right. Um, you know, people don't want to identify themselves as being an atheist. And, and you know, if, for me, as somebody who was a Christian for many years, um, boy, it took a lot of work for me to say, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm an atheist. But because there's this complete misperception um, when, when it's talked about. So it's good for us to put um, a positive face on atheism, hopefully, and um, to not only be representatives of, of the title, but to show people that, you know, it's it's not a dirty word and secular people aren't evil and atheists aren't, aren't immoral. Um, and there's no tie there. Yeah.